Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of French auction portal, Interanchair, and we're going to have a look at an auction by Briot uh, Auction House, based in France. Um, this is a general auction house, there's lots of lots on this, but in terms of musical instruments, there's only about 17 or so, but I just thought it's sometimes good to cover things on smaller auctions, and this will be a quick uh, video, so it won't uh, drag on too long. Um, so yes, as I said, this is a French-based uh, auction house, so if you are looking to bid from outside of France or outside of Europe or etc. or need shipping, then check all the terms and conditions, CITES restrictions, all that stuff that I usually talk about. Looks like the buyer's premium is probably around about 25% or so if you are buying online. There's uh, some fees and other bits, so do check all of that uh, to make sure that you know what's happening. Uh, as I said, uh, mainly it's kind of other things in this auction a uh, few musical instruments a bit down uh, later on this page here we see it's about 17 or so so we'll just quickly go through those uh, if you're looking at this catalogue I'll put a link in the description it'll be page six uh, these seem to be the only instruments so um, without further ado I think let's just kind of check it out really and see what's uh, what's going on so here we have a French bow in exotic wood, 46.7 centimeters there. Obviously needs a bit of uh, a restoration there, missing its button. A um, few pictures here of the head, not bad uh, pictures actually, to be fair. So yeah, clearly needs uh, a good bit of restoration, but 12 pictures, that's quite good for an auction house there. The estimate there was 100 to 200 euros. Then we have a 19th century cello bow, octagonal stick in beautiful Pernambuco wood, probably from Francois Bazar in Mirkor, mounted bone button there. Six to seven hundred euros they're looking for. So let's have a look, 17 pictures on this, so. Open trench frog there, it's quite interesting. Good shots of the head, these are some of the better pictures of bows that we've come across that's a uh, quite a nice looking bow so now we have a bow by Louis Bazaar round stick in Pernambuco there 700 to 800 euros there these are all nickel silver so far 16 photos on this once again we'll need a bit of uh, attention missing its slide uh, also missing it's kind of lapping as well it's good shots of the head there okay now a cello bow signed Louis Bazaar Pernambuco frog uneven uh, five to six hundred euros there so some repair needed there missing its button it seems See, faintly see the bazaar stamp there. Definitely in need of some restoration. Good shots again of the head. Okay. Mostly bows in this uh, auction. Violin bow, round stick, and beautiful Pernambuco, 19th century, probably Simon School, four to five hundred. Once again, nickel mounted bow there in need of a bit of uh, restoration kind of worrying uh, crack here to the head looks like it's probably re-glued so that's going to massively affect the value there could just be a scratch really hard to tell there what's going on and moving on, we've got another bow here by Antoine Lagarde, apparently exotic wood, bone and silver mounted, that frog is hanging on for dear life there, so it needs some uh, restoration as well. Once again, a good set of uh, photos there, face plate needs to be uh, repaired there. 1,000 to 1,500 euros on that, that's fairly substantial. 1,000 to 1,500 euros on this, an anonymous cello bow, beautiful round stick and Pernambuco, mounted tortoise shell, yellow, gold, and mother of pearl, mid-19th century. 
missing uh, some bits it seems to say like I said always uh, a nice looking head there um, always a bit kind of dubious of buying stuff with the tortoiseshell frog obviously you can get it changed but for sighties and traveling can be a bit uh, bit difficult just go back a few pictures here just trying to look at the fit on that stick I don't know if it's just the image but it doesn't really look to looks a little bit odd the fit on that stick but anyhow it's a bow there now we've got 800 to 1000 euros old cello bow round stick Pernambuco silver mounted so it's got a bit of damage somewhere definitely needs a bit of restoration there Uh, got a lot of uh, kind of gunk and rosin on that in need of a good clean I think it definitely needs a bit of a, an inspection um, that one now I think we're into a few instruments that they have here German violin 36 centimeters with a bow with no case Two to three hundred euros there. This looks to be fairly standard kind of trade violin. Looks in kind of okayish uh, condition there. Lots of uh, pictures on this auction, so that's great. This is some of the most uh, comprehensive photos, I think. Bow, nothing in particular. Yeah, some of the most comprehensive uh, photos I think we've seen. We've got a violin marked fillet 359 millimeters five to seven hundred euros on that most likely probably a French instrument of some kind Violin by Sylvestre and Mocatel in Paris. 357 is the length of back. It's got a Rampel certificate, 7.5 to 8.5 thousand euros. So, uh, not the most exciting of uh, violins, in my opinion, but then I'm uh, not really overly fond of these type of. French violins but it has a certificate and in the right light I think the back is probably quite nice but for that money I think I would personally look at other things um, then we have a probably German violin around 1910 to 1920 carved lion head missing at the FF leg okay two to three hundred euros there's something weird going on already in the varnish and F holes on this this is a fairly standard looking instrument I think in needing a bit of TLC, a lion, nothing particularly interesting the back is n not really good so yeah a kind of standard trade violin in need of some work so somewhere around the lower estimate I think would probably be about right uh, Cello Bow by Corner Field in Lyon 1937 with the Label made in the workshop of George Cohen and Field in Lyon. Um, orally varnished, very good state of conservation out of the attic. Two small breaks in the side and the front. Small break and angle, not serious. Eight to nine thousand euros. So, fairly substantial amount of money. Looks like a fairly nice instrument, but. Uh, at that kind of estimate I think I'd be happier if there was some kind of uh, French uh, certificate with it and here we have a rare cello by Charles Bovis made in Nice in 1957 oily orange brown varnish there there's a label an iron mark on the bottom and on the cleat very good state school of Nice with certificate from Mr Bernard Sabatier there 15 to 18 thousand interesting kind of 
crackleture there on the varnish and also on the top uh, bout there on the shoulder sorry the wear on the shoulder interesting so some inside shots as well well they definitely kind of spent a bit of time on the uh, photographs on this um, I think you need to do a bit of research if you're interested in this and uh, kind of check all the information and the uh, certificate and etc like that. Uh, so we've got three more items left here. So we have Selma Trumpet welds at the spacer. So it's had some two to three hundred euros that repairs of some kind. But I mean they really do uh, go to town a bit on the uh, on the photos so uh, really good to see then we've got an Evette buffet crump on saxophone with its case two to three hundred euros some of these shots are quite uh, arty they're almost like a, a model shoot um, I think the photographer is like kind of interesting on this auction um, another Dixon saxophone Selma mouthpiece with its box two to three hundred euros it's getting a lot of kind of arty uh, shots there. And that's basically it. Yeah, that is the uh, Briolt auction, or at least the musical instrument part. There are a few interesting things. Maybe a couple of interesting bows. Uh, nothing too uh, exciting or outrageous, but always good to kind of uh, see another small auction. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. See what you think. If you've got any comments, let me know. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Ciao. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. And watch out for the next video coming soon.